Okay, so here's a transistor radio playing Justin Timberlake, not one of my favorite artists, but that's what's playing and that's what I can get on this transistor radio. Okay, this transistor radio is being run by, okay, our Gerber cell batteries, okay. So I'm just wiring up my tr transistor radio, hitting where the anode of the batteries were and where the uh, cathode of the batteries hit. And I'm just following my leads. Okay, down to my batteries, which give about 1.6 volts a piece. It's a 3 volt battery, so uh, 3 volt transistor radio, so I'm just making sure I get enough voltage. But as you can see, I have my magnesium anode, okay, in series with the other batteries, and I have the copper, okay, cathode. Now, the copper cathode is encapsulated in a bag, dialysis tubing bag, with copper plus two. And that's what we're having going on here. Now, looking closely at the magnesium, and this is the hint to my class, okay, you see, hopefully I can see some fizzing going on. Let's just read, once this, uh, look at that fizzing. We should know what bubbles are being made right there. And that's one of the reasons why this battery is not giving off the voltage that we get from the net potential. So we got magnesium as our anode, the copper as our cathode, the copper sitting in a dialysis tubing bag that has copper plus two in it. And we're looking at our magnesium bubbling. You can see it's oxidizing, okay? And with these three batteries, okay, hooked in series, and. What I mean by series is so I've got the cathode of one battery hooked up. Okay, this one runs to the radio, but this anode, okay, goes to, sorry, this anode goes to the cathode of this battery, and this anode follow my finger, and I won't get confused, goes to the cathode of this battery, anode back to the battery, and we have a series circuit, okay?